what's up welcome back today i'm going to be playing with my fps dominator strike pack if you don't know what this is it's a 40 dollars attachment for your ps4 controller this thing basically has two functions it's called a mod pack because well if you turn it to the blue light that means it's in mod mode and you can activate certain mods there's everything from rapid fire to sniper quick scope there's all sorts of different stuff on here however if you ever notice while i'm playing i only keep it in tournament mode the white mode which means only the paddles are activated no mods no nothing it simply adds two extra paddles which you can remap to any of these buttons on your controller that's kind of the basic rundown of this thing i've been using it since chapter one season four of fortnite way way back almost probably over two years now i made a video a while ago about these double action strike pack binds the binds that i've been using for so long is left pedal jump and right paddle edit but in this video months ago, I discovered that if you hold down your mapping button and you click two buttons at the same exact time, it'll actually set this to do two functions at once. After some testing, I've come to discover that this is the closest you can get to legal scroll wheel reset on a controller not as fast but it's pretty quick and this is how after some testing i discovered that i could put reset and confirm on the same paddle so essentially that eliminates one button press normally when you reset a build on controller you have to edit it you have to click the reset button and then you have to click the confirm button that's three button presses just to reset one build but if we go ahead and map our paddle to do two of those actions all we have to do is click our right paddle to edit and click our left paddle to reset and confirm the edit and that's going to go ahead and allow us to do things like this and reset our builds very quickly however i've been playing on my old binds for years so it's going to be a little difficult to switch where i see the huge advantage in using this is in box fights or competitive game modes modes like those where there's a lot of box fighting there's a lot of close quarter combat so you're able to go ahead and take that shot and reset very quickly because we all know keyboard and mouse players have this scroll wheel reset that's absolutely ridiculous they can pop out and take their shots reset and do that that quickly when you're on controller and you have to press three different buttons to reset your builds you can't really compete with that so this sort of levels the playing field and if you're curious about the binds that i'm using you can go ahead and look through these uh basically what i've changed from my normal binds is an l3 jump which is very hard to get used to i went ahead and put crouch on x but especially with free builds it's very difficult to get used to jumping with l3 but I've kind of started to get it down after about 10 minutes of practice. I'm about to go ahead and hop into box fights, but please, if you find yourself enjoying this video, don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe for more. It's greatly appreciated. I'm going to be playing this new creative matchmaking mode called box fight tournament. It's like an eight person box fight tournament and you just go against random players. So let's hop in and see how we can do. This scroll reset is absolutely working like a charm. Something I have noticed in these Hello. is look at my ping. My ping is over 100, which for some reason on these servers, it just tends to be really high. This guy's definitely a low pinger. Got him though, AC0 ping, it's literally in his name. We beat him on almost 100 ping. It will probably take me at least a couple rounds to get used to using these brand new binds, but the scroll reset definitely is a fun addition to have on controller. However, on 100 ping, it's not as fast as it could be. And I think we just took the dub. So far with controller scroll wheel reset, we are two for two, seven for seven, however you want to look at it. Seven rounds one, two games one. Nice. 
Not exactly sure how that dude made it to finals, but we won another one. We're three for four. For the rest of these box fights for the rest of this video, I'm gonna be in my own creative service so I can be down on around 30 ping. And I'm gonna be playing against Ethan, he's been in a couple of my videos, but I can't deal with this high ping stuff anymore. We went 3 for 5. We won like 13 or 14 rounds, but I think this way it'll be a better test because we'll be on lower ping. So let's hop into those box fights. Like that, I got stuck. I wasn't even touching my controller. And I guess that's where we're gonna call it. In conclusion, this is definitely 100% faster than your average three button controller reset. However, for me personally, I don't think it's going to be worth changing up my jump bind, my crouch bind, messing up all of those. I think I'm way better with my previous binds and I've practiced resetting enough that I'm pretty quick with resets already, but this is definitely a way easier alternative. You don't have to have any practice or anything to be able to reset almost as fast as a scroll wheel reset. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you in my next video.